What's up guys, Brian with Happy Thumbs Gaming here, and we are back with some more LEGO Movie 2 video game! This time we've got Planet Sparkles Free Roam, which is part of the Rex Explorer system. It offers 25 of those masterpiece or poiple bricks. We're gonna go ahead and get a trophy achievement for completing all the quests in the area, and also one for getting all of the bricks in the area. Quickly, I want to give a shout out to Warner Brothers for hooking us up with a copy of this game, and also want to give a shout out to our guy Tyler P for hooking us up with the trophy achievement and collectible information. That being said, I want to also let you guys know we do have quick links down below in the video description, and guess what? This video has been ever so slightly sped up to kind of get through it a wee bit quicker. Now, as we start here, we're going to go ahead and advance to this gentleman here with the old golden arrow bouncing above his head, who actually indicates that he wants to talk to General Mayhem. Apparently, we weren't cool enough as Rex Quando. So we'll switch on over and get things going, and he actually asks us to go ahead and use our tractor beam to go ahead and manipulate these power nodes into their base plates. Once we get both of those into place, it's going to go ahead and open the door and allow us to get inside and bring up that old debate that we keep hearing about on LEGO Dimensions. What is better, coffee or tea? As you guys might remember, Superman always says that, and as it turns out, we're actually going to have to go inside and guide old Wonder Woman into the cafe where she can find herself a cup of... You'll have to wait and see. Now, uh, I do want to make note, too. There are a couple of overlaps in this and what i mean by that is is that like when we we're on a race sometimes it actually takes us right to a second masterpiece brick and rather than avoid it like we normally would and then double back again we go ahead and we get it in this particular video so uh there may be a quick link or two that has doubled down on it but if that is the case don't worry we're gonna have multiple quick links down below in the video description and it should get you to both of those bricks as it plays out now there are a couple of doozies down below us too the map this is a layered level where there are like a, a second floor, a first floor, a ground floor, and a basement floor kind of a thing. And I may have said that kind of confusing. But essentially there are multiple levels here and we're going to guide you through them, hopefully quickly and easily. Now you can see we got to go all the way to the end here on the far right, which is actually where the store is. Once we get inside here, we're actually going to go ahead and find... Uh, well, it's a little bit, uh, it takes a second for it to recognize that we're in here. And I take a quick peek at the store, and I think about making some purchases, but I thought, nah, I'll go ahead and wait till the end, because we always wait till the end. So, uh, basically, we needed to get Wonder Woman close by. For some reason, it did not recognize that she was in here. Eventually, it does, and it rewards us with our second Masterpiece Brick. And then we got another quest right here, and it asks us to go across the hall and ask what is going on with old Superman over there, so we can go ahead and make that happen. Now, I do want to point out, too, that I did have some trouble. It was really a brain fart or user error situation where I got stuck on this level for a good 10 or 15 minutes. And it all was revolving around a sticker moment. Now, some of these uh, tasks are pretty self-explanatory. Like this one, you just got to smash all the kryptonite. Right? We, got, we can't have Superman around with some kryptonite, so we'll go ahead and smash all of those. But later in one here in a bit, we actually are tasked with redecorating the room and you know me I skip through all of the banter here that is provided by the non playable characters or NPCs and as a result sometimes I miss the bits that need to be done and so I, I wasn't catching on that we needed to use the sticker gun so I run all over I was thinking that I was rewarded with uh, an object that I could use for the quest, but that didn't work out. It was just a nightmare. And then it turned out it was a simple sticker. So I got that. I actually had to uh, replay the level. And as a result, the whole level was a lot more efficient and faster. So uh, I guess my loss is your gain in this situation. As I did go back and replay the whole thing. And uh, it was a lot quicker and, like I said, more efficient and better -er. All right, after solving the quest for Superman there, removing all of that kryptonite, we have to go right across the hallway here and help old Aquaman out. He is trying to get his hot tub on, and we got to pop the lid off and drop it down into the specific spot, which I was standing on, which made it a wee bit difficult. And we'll go ahead and get rewarded here. Thank you very much. All right, so he can go ahead and get his hot dipping on. And look at that. We are going to go ahead and get rewarded with, uh, I guess, a trophy achievement for completing all of the quests in this area. So we also get the spooky house build, which is going to be part of our builds later when we get to the, what is it, the Cispocalypse Star? I think that's what it's called. So Totally Zend Out is officially ours, and we are out of here. Now, if you looked really carefully right there, you might have noticed an edit. That was the main edit that takes us into the next, uh, well, the secondary playthrough. So we've actually just left the first one, 
and join the second. Now, why did I combine the two? Well, it was because in that first playthrough, I got that trophy achievement that you just saw totally zenned out, and I wanted to make sure that rang off for you in this video. So luckily for me, I've been doing this a long time, and I was able to figure this out and make it a nice, smooth sailor, and check it out. We are going to go ahead and pull out the sticker gun now. Now we have to toggle over to the sticker gallery. So we did get awarded some sort of objects for this task but as it turns out it wasn't an actual build object it was a sticker object so we have to go ahead and find the three items that he has requested one is that blue one with the people on it which i just selected we have to also get the one right next to it so i got one up there then there's kind of like some metal uh, some metal metal bending arms perhaps they almost look like somebody's you know arms of steel flexing is what it kind of looks like to me and then we've got, of course, the mural of Superman, which is the icon that popped up at the beginning of this quest, which made me feel like I had a new character, Superman, and that I needed to use him for something, which is why I was totally thrown for a loop. But I got it done, and we are ready to keep on keeping on. So we got six of the 25 totally wrapped up now. We're going to go ahead and target the next one. Now, really, it does not matter in which order you collect these. But we do recommend that you follow our order because it can get super confusing if you uh, kind of just go willy-nilly and don't follow along. Because then you're like, well, wait a minute. Did I get that one over there? Or what? I don't remember breaking through that wall. again. So following along certainly helps. But at the same time, we also appreciate those of you who like to go ahead and collect all the collectibles on your own, which uh, is, is a, a very noble thing. But when in doubt, we are here to help you out. So that's good, too. Good to know and good to go. So this one is Green Lantern. Now, you might have noticed we jumped into the pool right behind us and grabbed a brick. And then we went ahead and approached Green Lantern, who asked us to ta or to place down two of these green lanterns. So we place them both down. He gives us another brick. And it looked like a build as well, huh? Hmm? All right, we should be getting pretty close to having all 20 of those builds that are needed for the, uh, the town that we create. But uh, I, I could be wrong on that. We might have some more coming up. Now, on the back side of the giant open room, we find another character with a flash snack bar that has to be delivered to guess who? That's right, Mr. Flash himself, which I wasn't even sure he was going to be in here, but there he is, bouncing around. We'll go ahead and follow the arrow, and guess what? We're going to go ahead and give him his Snickers bar. Apparently, he was not himself. <laughs> that's that's. Uh, I don't know why, but this quest totally reminded me of those Snickers commercials where the guy's all super angry and grumpy, and you know, like whether they're playing basketball or at work or maybe at a runway show for models, and then you know, there's a grumpy old guy and he eats the candy bar, and it's like a really, really pretty, you know, well-to-do, done-up model. That, that's funny, huh? Uh, that's totally what that reminded me of. I don't know why, but. All right, back out to the beginning platform. We're going to drop down to the left-hand side and use those handhelds to go down under. Now, as soon as we get down there, we find one right there at the entrance, and we also make note of one of those alien invader hearts that takes off to our left. Now, those are pretty handy as they have tons of studs as well as a mega relic every single time. Now, I have some advice to kind of push those into walls, rooms, anything that will prevent their forward progress. In this case, it was a hallway, and it worked out pretty well in my favor, and we kind of got lucky. Now, this is where it gets kind of tricky. Okay, so we came in to the left and immediately made a right. We smashed through a wall, went left, and then right again. Now, we're going left. Oh, all the way wrapping around. There is another wall inside. We're going to wrap. Keep wrapping. Think of it like a cinnamon roll or a spiral. That's essentially what we've done here. Keep wrapping around and inside. Oh, what's the mouse doing in here? That's kind of suspect. We'll go ahead and break down another wall here, Rex Quando style. And all of a sudden, we find ourselves right in the middle of the main area, but down under. You can see we're way down below here. And this is where we came in, on the far end by the main platform. And we wrapped around in a nice little... Uh, I don't know, a rat's tail, kind of. It was kind of a big circular, I called it a cinnamon roll the first time. That's probably a little bit more <laughs> appealing, but. All right, back out and around we go. So uh, instead of going full curl, we got to go out and kind of uh, break the pattern here. But we're not done yet. We got to zip all the way around one more time as there are three chests inside here. Now, this is not a requirement. However, it is close enough to the next brick and certainly worthy of your time as we get a couple of relics, a couple of mega, uh, a mega relic, and a ton of studage. Now, keep in mind, too, we do need to spend at least 100,000 studs on every area, 50 on the actual uh, the people brick in the store, and then usually there's a, at least one character token costing 50,000 studs as well. And as I make my way out, I honestly didn't mean to grab that brick, but I went the opposite end. So as you can see, I'm in, uh, on the far left corner now. And what, you can pick up the mice? That is weird. 
So uh, my best advice is to definitely keep tabs on the map. Try to figure out where you are. Look for those bricks down there. So here's another one. This is the back entrance. So as it sits, there's one at the front entrance, one at the back entrance, one in the curly queue right in the middle, and then there's one off to the left-hand side. If you're looking at this from the start where we started, where, where the spawn is, where the ship is planted, which now we're at the back. We're on the opposite end of that. So hopefully I didn't confuse you with all my extra wordage. I know that sometimes I can get a little too mouthy. But uh, we're going to pop up using those stairs, and now we're, we're in a familiar zone here. The store is right off inside this little room off to our left, and we've got a couple of chests we're going to smash before we move on. Now, uh, let's see here. Around the corner, we've got, uh, well, it's actually right behind us here. We've got our next quest. There we go. Hand standing over there on the corner. We'll go ahead and approach this nice little lady. Now, look down below. You might make note that we have Masterpiece 14 and 15 labeled. That's because this happens to be a race. Ooh, it's a race. I hope I win. But the race actually takes us right into another brick. And rather than start over and avoid it, because I actually run right into it on accident, um, I, I choose to go ahead and keep on keeping on. Kind of like that last one we got. I, I think this is the one that I run into. I, I, this one I might have a choice. There's one that I actually get to, and I stop, and I'm like, should I, should I get it? <laughs> There's like that moment of pause where I'm not sure if I should get it or not. And there's another one. I think I run by one right here. I think it's on the right. Oh, no, that never mind. So, anyways, I don't know what I'm talking about. I eventually get to the end of this race. But before we do, we come around this corner, and guess what? Woo to the who! So, that, here it is. Like, I'm like, oh, gosh, should I, should I get it? Yes. All right. So, I grabbed it, drop it like it's hot down below, and then I think, oh, we're going to go up top and get that other one. But, no, it takes a hard left. It goes right through the middle open entrance here. And guess what? We are following it around. It's going to loop us basically right back to where this race started, and it should give us the next brick which would be the second one, because we already got that one on that ledge. All right, as you guys probably know, this the, the racer uh, offerer, they always challenge us. They're like, oh, you're so slow. You can't do that again. So we'll go ahead and take that challenge one more time, one more gain. <laughs> and uh, as we make our way over to the left-hand side this time, instead of the right, we actually make note of another brick up there. I had troubles getting this brick, not only later in this video, but remember I told you I had actually had to replay this level because I made that mistake with the sticker gun and it just didn't work out with the edits then? So when I when I played through the first time, I actually had a hard time getting up and down those handhelds and it proves to be a little problematic for me later when I actually go to grab it too. So knowing that I had a timer against me with this race, I didn't want to waste too much time climbing up and down those handhelds, especially not knowing what was in store for me. And it turns out I have to use a bunch of these handhelds. And look, I got lucky, and I didn't plummet to my doom. But uh, yeah, I go back up, down, left, right. I'm just trying to get down, and these handhelds are not the best. And I do recommend not pressing the button indicated. For us, it was X. Not rapidly. If you press it rapidly, you're going to find yourself getting all caught up and uh, bouncing up and down and not the ideal places. Now, this guy here... I decide to grab him. And now knowing that you guys will be playing this race and running by here, I highly suggest you grab it as well. But it should also be noted that there is basically uh, one on both ends of that. So one at the front and one at the back side of that underground area. There's also one on the left and one on the right, as well as one smack dab in the middle. So it's kind of like, you know, tic-tac-toe in a sense. But not really. There's one, one in the front, one in the back, one in the left, one in the right, one in the middle. Hopefully that all makes sense. We go ahead and get our next build and our next brick as well. Good look at that. We are at 18 bricks already. That happened kind of fast, didn't it? All right, hip it to the hopper. We go up to the top. This time we're going all the way up. Notice that there was a the right path. That's what we took for the race. And we're going to go up to the left this time. And we're going to find old Queen Whatever I want to be, I think that's her name. Uh, and we're going to go ahead and approach her. As you can see here, she has a quest waiting for us. So we'll step up, and she says uh, something about, oh, we got to take some photos. Selfie time. I think I actually just blast. Oh, no, I do take a selfie. Let's go ahead and get this all framed up. And oh, to the, yeah, let's go ahead and, oh, what a beautiful shot we took. Now, let's see here. It makes me look extra fabulous, she says. Another snap for the wedding album. Now, we get another build with a brick on it, which I'm pretty sure that means that we're going to have to use that to get a gold or a purple brick 
and Sistar Cispocalypse Star. I can never say that right. You'd think by now I'd have it all figured out, but nope. All right, so we got our brick. We are ready to move on. We got another one of those alien invader hearts over there, and off to our left. We're going to go ahead and go in, not around. There is a brick right there on the edge that I could have grabbed, but we'll come back and get that in a hot second. Now, we actually took note of this guy during one of our races. It's under the stairway here. We're going to go ahead and smash that big crystal so we can get in there nice and easily and grab Obwick. Thank you very much. All right, another crystal needs smashing. And, oh, right on the other side, we got ourselves an alien heart. So let's go ahead and approach that guy and smash. Look at this. We're also going to get a chest right here. So we're going to get tons, and I mean tons, of studs as well as a handful of relics before queuing this next quest right here which isn't really a quest this is one of those deals where they give you something and you got to pass it out but they don't really give you anything oh no psych that's not right that this is a quest this is a legit quest i forgot my bad this one we have to take over to the old ice cream cone um uh, i don't know what that is it's i think it was a party permit but uh, so I go out this way and I almost grab that purple brick, but then I have second thoughts. I'm like, no, we actually have an arrow pointing us to where we need to go. So we're going to go ahead and turn around and get that real quick. And we'll be back for that brick in a second. Now, keep in mind, could have grabbed that for yourself and just skipped ahead once we get to the next one. Or, you know, you could have waited just like we did and grabbed it here in a hot second. It's up to you. We found another alien invader out here on this walkway. We're going to go ahead and smash and grab the relic and studs as well. So we have certainly gotten paid on this level. I didn't really look at my starting stud count, but it has certainly gone up. I can guarantee you that. But right across the bridge and around the corner, we find our little ice cream cone here. Try not to lick him to death. But uh, we'll go ahead and get our brick for handing that over. I think yes. Thank you very much. And all right. So we only got five bricks left. And... Let's see here is there one down there i feel like there is one down there around the corner i couldn't see it at the moment though so we'll have to come back later uh up and around we go oh not before grabbing this chest though so we'll go ahead and sneak under the stairway on this side grab all them studded pieces as well as them relics too now we sh I, I haven't looked at my relic count in a while but it's going to be fun when we open all of those up in our live stream here in a couple of days Basically, we got to finish up all of the other free room levels, which I believe there's five left. There are longer ones, though. The ones that are left are all, like, a lot bigger. They all start with 50, I believe. But we should have, you know, a handful of them for from, from previous experiences. So we'll, we'll wait and see. But they should be quite a bit longer. Um, this guy, remember this guy? We're going to go ahead and jump out and grab him real quick. Thank you very much. All right, moving along. We've got 21 of the 25. We know one of those is actually in the store so, and we also know one of them is back on the handhelds that we passed up on in the race. I think we're heading to that guy right. Nope. Psych. We're going to go ahead and take a hot, a hot left, a uh, Louie, and uh, we'll drop down. Let's see. Wait. Yep. Drop down and we go all the way inside. Yep. And I believe right next to Aquaman in one of these little pools, we're going to find the next guy. Yep. There it is. You may have already grabbed this guy when you were in here manipulating that hot tub tonic cover. I guess it's not a tonic cover, just the cover. A ton of covers for trucks, Brian. Paz would be uh, very disappointed in me right now if he was listening. And if you're listening, Paz, I'm sorry. <laughs> All right, uh, let's see here. We got to get rid of those old markers. Let's go ahead and tag. Well, let's see here. I'm not quite sure. I know that there's one right out this this uh, back door entrance here. We're gonna use the handhelds to get up to the high left side. And I wasn't exactly sure which one it was on the map. I was kind of confused. So, and here we go. Ready for this? insert problematic and held here we go and, and, and at any point feel free to leave a comment below or laugh at me <laughs> in real life it doesn't matter uh, i definitely struggle with this and i hope that you guys don't have the same issue no i don't know if it was because i was general mayhem and she's a little clunky i i i don't know uh maybe it was just user error uh, but I eventually get up there and snag that brick. Thank you very much. So we only have to find one more brick before we make our way into the store and purchase our final one. Now, this one isn't too hard to find either. This one's actually right around the corner. we got to go up and around, if I remember correctly. No, no, that is not the right way, Brian. Uh, remember, just a minute ago, I mentioned I was up above with that ice cream guy, and I thought there was one down below. That should be the final one. Now, full disclosure, I did edit this like four days ago. I've played a lot of other games, done a lot of stuff since then, so my 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 memory's a little bit off, but I do believe that is the one. We're going to go inside here, wrap around, and it should be right there to the left. 
Yeah! All right, all right, all right! Go ahead and step up and grab that guy if you haven't already. Remove the final waypoint markers that were there and target the store because that is where the last one is. So uh, hopefully you got 50,000 studs. We know we do. We're going to go ahead and use our jetpack to get up to this upper level. We'll use the walkway to get up and over and drop down inside. And before you know it, we'll be ready to make that final purchase. What's up, queen? Wee! <laughs> That's right. I love the jetpack to break the fall. And here we go. Step up to the store. Go ahead and spend your 50,000 studs and ring off that trophy achievement for getting all 25 of the masterpiece bricks in this area. Sparkle Master! Now, don't forget to purchase all of the items from inside the store as well. Now, I've kind of got mixed information coming in from some of you guys telling me that I'm going to need to return to these levels and scan a bunch of stuff that I missed out on. So it turns out I might have to come back and do some scanning after all. I was trying to buy all these uh, items so that we didn't have any issues like that, but it turns out I might have to do it anyways. But hey, that's going to wrap it up for Planet Sparkles. We got all 25 of them masterpiece bricks and had some fun while doing it. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this. Don't forget to check us out on social media. And of course, happythumbsgaming.com is available for your viewing pleasure as well. Soon enough, there'll be a thumbie must-see video. But as for me, that's going to do it. Until next time. See you!